the greenhouse effect. All right, so the greenhouse effect is, if you look at the definition on top, carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, and other greenhouse gases that trap heat energy. So the sun, its rays enter our atmosphere. Here's the edge of our atmosphere. And we have these gases that are from the ground up. Those gases let the heat in and those heat molecules, or the heat bounces off the molecules of these gases and heats them up a little bit. Now, you don't want too many of these gases in our atmosphere because then it's gonna keep heating up, heating up, heating up. And that's what science, scientists, most scientists believe is happening with climate change. Some areas are getting more heat happening. It's changing the climate of our world, of these different biomes. Um, it doesn't mean it's always going to be heating up, but it does change the climate. Okay. Now, if we didn't have this greenhouse effect, what if we just had no atmospheric gases at all trapping heat? What would it be like here on Earth? Think about that. It would be really cold. We want the greenhouse effect here, but we just don't want too much of it occurring. So things that actually create these gases are deforestation when they burn up the forests, that smoke in the air helps to create the greenhouse effect more. CFCs, those are called chlorofluorocarbons. Those were in um, spray cans. We have changed that in the United States. We do not use what's called CFCs anymore. We use a different kind of uh, chemical to bring on the same effect, but a lot of countries still do use CFCs. Um, our car exhaust, uh, we are going to electric cars now because they don't have any kind of exhaust that comes out because we don't want to keep adding more of these chemicals to the greenhouse effect. Um, factories, all the smoke that's coming out of them, not a good thing. So we are changing things. We are making it better. Um, over the long run, hopefully we make it even more and more better by changing our habits and changing our technology. Okay, succession. Succession is the gradual change in populations of organisms that occurs when the environment changes. So like when I grew up, I grew up here in Minneapolis and the environment was different back then. Like down along the creek, it looked different than it does now. Things don't stay the same over a long period of time. They succeed in this kind of a direction. So first of all, you have these shorter, smaller plants, maybe grasses. Um, here it says, a fire or some other disturbance clears the land. And then after a few years, or maybe even just a few months, stuff starts to grow again. Then over time, you have bigger, larger brush, larger bushes, and over several years, our trees start to grow up taller. And then we get an old growth area where the trees are all very old and big. And then you've got some smaller bushes down here. But that is what succession is, an area that successes or succeeds into um, an older growth area. So how the ecosystem changes over a period of time Grass comes in first, bushes will outcompete grass, and then trees outcompete bushes, and so on. So there are two different kinds of succession that we talk about. One is primary succession. Primary succession on a volcanic island 
will start with rock. There's like absolutely no soil there, no life. And then after a while, if, it, if it's able to cool and sit there for maybe years, the soil will start to show up. And that might happen because of weathering on those lava rocks and it breaks it down into a soil or we have nutrients coming from the oceans going up onto that lava rock and dissolving and becoming um, better nutrient rich material and combines with um, the weathered lava rock and it becomes a soil that plants can start to grow in and maybe a seed comes over from the wind and it starts to grow some plant life. So that's primary succession, when it starts out with absolutely no soil. Secondary succession is when it already has a soil base. So here we have, in this first picture, a fire has occurred and it's destroyed all the organic matter there, like all the, all the living things. Okay, so it's kind of going back to the beginning. And then, oh, grasses start to grow after several months, maybe. And then after a little bit more time, bigger grasses grow and some brush grows. And then after even more time, the trees start to grow and take over. 